Hello and welcome back to my channel. Glory to Jesus, I'm to Mary and Joseph. A newborn is placed on a mother's chest. The mother is recovering from a C-section delivery. I know the image well as I laid in the same position after four days in active labor with my daughter, waiting for my sweet baby to be taken from my womb. A clear plastic veil allows you to see the baby when the doctor finally cradles the little one, now up in the air and quick to cry. Why is it cold? Where am I? This is so unfamiliar. The newborn, the newborn whale seems to say. Quickly, the baby is cleaned and placed on the mother's chest. And the little one calms down. No more tears. No more wincing of the eyes. The baby instantly senses that yes, her mother is here. As a tiny hand clutches the side of her mother's face to embrace her. This safe space with her mama is home. This recent post highlights the God-ordained way of new life. Then there is the other tweet. This time, the so-called mother has a beard and chest hair. This is not a female but a male masquerading as a mother. And the baby is not fooled. The baby knows, as she is placed onto this chest, her crying does not cease. The baby panics more, crying and searching for something familiar. She is left with no understanding of this new environment. The male tries his best to suit the infant, but to no avail. The man looks very content with his new baby, but it really isn't his baby, and the baby knows. A child learns his or her mother's sound, her smell, her way of breathing. For nine months, a baby is safe in the womb where life begins. Sadly, surrogacy has become commonplace in the United States and even more so in other countries with no regulations or even background checks in most cases. Anyone can decide to rent a woman's womb for the manufacturing of a child who will want the riot when taken from his or her little cocoon and placed onto a chest that is the farthest thing from familiarity. Of course, this does happen to children who have mothers who cannot care for them or choose not to for a variety of reasons, most very difficult and painful. Many children who grew up in fourth foster care or adopted speak of this prima wound that exists forever always desiring to know that original home for mommy with mommy adoptive mothers speak of consoling children who ache so deeply and end up grieving with the child that loss with the child this loss before the, ch the child learns love from a new mother but the dark side of surrogacy was on full display on social media this past weekend. One child embracing her mother and the another still confused about the absence of her mommy. It reminds me also of another recent viral moment when a surrogate mother is called to wish her four-year-old child happy birthday. The two adoptive dad orchestrates the whole thing. After the mother says happy birthday, the little girl says I love you mommy. She has never met this woman yet, knows who she is. One of the dads corrects her. The young girl looks confused. She knew without being told who her mother is. And this confusion is growing and infiltrating the lives of so many children. A recent story parades around a darling little girl being raised by two dads who desperately want a mother. She is now giving one of the males this title because the little girl knows something is missing. God is indeed infinite and he is indeed amazing. He made us so uniquely, giving us all a mother to love us and to hold us while we are being formed in secret. So our best, our best days would have a warm welcome too. God knew this was so important that he even gave his son, his own son, a mother, our blessed Virgin Mary who we hold so close to Maria month of May. May we click to Mother Mary for guidance as we pray for surrogacy to end and hope for a world where all babies find comfort. 
in the arms of their mother. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye.